So, um, so we have a chain rule. We're gonna have like the chain rule applied twice, I think. So this is gonna be r equals. Remember, I'm thinking of this as three minus theta squared as tangent squared, so that I can get around you know this this tan squared. That's literally what it means, right? And so. Um, then I'm going to take the derivative, so 2 out in front, so this would be dr, so the derivative of r with respect to theta would be 2, leave the inside alone, tangent 3 minus theta squared, subtract 1 from the power, so that's just 1, times by the derivative of the inside. The easiest way to think about this is ignore everything else and just think, if I was just deriving tangent of 3 minus theta squared, what would that be? Well, the derivative of tangent, secant squared, leave the inside alone, so times secant squared, leave the inside alone, okay, and then times by the derivative of the inside, which is three minus theta squared, so when I take the derivative of that, it will be negative two theta, just as if it was x, and um, honestly, that doesn't get a lot better than that. Um, secant's one over um, cosine, tangent sine over cosine. No, it doesn't get any better than that. I think you can just leave it like that. Maybe, you'd, you know, negative four out in front, but I'm not, um, I don't think we need to do that.